Welcome to Board Game Nation. My name is Gary Blevins. Thank you so much for watching. I recently had the amazing opportunity to talk with legendary game designer Larry Harris. In our conversation, we talked about his 40-year career where he developed more than 200 games for some of the biggest names in the industry. His most famous game? Axis and Allies. Since the original game came out in 1984, it has spawned more than 20 spin-offs and updates, three of which were inducted into the Adventure Board Game Hall of Fame in 1996. Given how quickly the world is becoming more and more digital, I was curious how Larry felt about his games being played online, particularly the new offering from Beamdog on Steam. Let's see what he had to say about it. Recently, a company called Beamdog uh, put out an, a version of Axis and Allies called Axis and Allies Online that is nearly identical to uh, 1942 Second Edition. And I'm curious uh, if you had any part in that project, or if you've had any other, um, ag you know, any other interest in any of the other online versions of Axis and Allies that have come out over the years, and uh, and what your thoughts are about people playing your games online versus in person. Uh, yeah, the Beam Dog. Uh, I got notified when about this project by Wizards of the Coast. I got notified. Um, well after it had already begun. <laughs> so it was already off and running by the time I learned about it. But um, it, it, uh, it was based on the board game. It was a, a direct lift. Uh, so what more could be, you know, how could you hurt this or change this? So uh, it wasn't a really a design task that would involve me. It, it was just a straight lifting from the board game to um, the digital world. Um, I played it, I, I, I uh, was impressed with it, I really like it. Um, uh, so I was, I was satisfied with what they did and um, I, uh, um, I wish it success. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, do you think that there's a big difference in, um, I mean, obviously there's a difference between the, uh, you know, playing online um, versus playing in person, but I'm, I'm curious uh, what your thoughts are if, from a game designer's point of view, like when you designed the game, this was, it was designed to be played across the table, right? Uh, how, how do you think it changes the game to have it, you know, be played with, by people thousands of miles apart? Yeah, um, that's cool. Uh, It's a different experience. Um, I won't. I, I'm. I can't decide if one is better than the other. Um, frankly, um, I grew up uh, where we didn't have computers. Now we do. Hey, let's take advantage of that technology. Let's play our favorite games with some of our favorite friends who live in Paris or who live in Bangkok, and let's play Axis and Allies this afternoon. That's pretty cool. And so uh, there's a time and place for that. And then there's it, wouldn't it be nice if my friend from Paris and Bangkok, we could all get in Paris and play the game there? And uh, so there's that. So, it, yeah, they don't compete. They complement each other. That's actually my, my thought as well. Again, a big thank you to Larry Harris for taking the time to sit down and talk with us. If you want to see more from that interview, click here. If you're ready to watch the whole thing, here's your link. And if you want to see everything going on with Board Game Nation, click here to subscribe. Again, my name is Gary Blevins. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.